Hello and welcome to Movie Corner, where I sit in the corner and talk about movies I've seen lately. First off is Godzilla x King Kong New Empire. It is a sequel to King Kong Skull Island and it definitely delivered on all the expectations I had. It was larger than life, had lots of action and fighting, plenty of things that made it a good idea to go see in IMAX 3D like I did. And it even introduced the character Mothra for the first time in the modern renditions of these franchises. I definitely would recommend it. It was a great time. Then I saw In the Land of Saints and Sinners. This one was not a bad watch for my first time through. I would not see it time and time again, though. It was dark. There was no comedic relief. I loved the fact that there was some historical accuracy to it. It was about the IRA and the Civil War in Ireland, as well as some gangster stuff. And it had Liam Neeson, so maybe you might want to go see it if you like Liam Neeson. After that, I saw The First Omen. The First Omen was a prequel, as in it happened before the Omen trilogy. If you are like me and you love vintage cinema, you probably have heard of The Omen before and might find this film interesting. I've heard mixed reviews from my fellow fi film critics, so it's really a mixed bag. I thought the film was great. It had some twists and turns. It was dark. It was accurate to the book. Next up, I saw Monkey Man, and I was really looking forward to this movie because I particularly enjoy Bollywood films. It was half English, half subtitled, and it did not live up to my expectations, I have to say that. It was just far too bloody for me to enjoy the film, and there was no satisfying resolution at the end. After that, I saw Wicked Little Letters. Now, Wicked Little Letters was a cute, frolicky English comedy, and I would recommend it, but I don't think you have to see it on the big screen. There's nothing that the big screen enhances about this particular story or the way it's shot. After that, I saw Civil War. Now, I know a lot of people were looking forward to Civil War. It had some great action scenes, definitely. Seeing it on the big screen enhanced the way it was shot and the picture that you see, but it doesn't really seem to have a plot as far as I'm concerned. Sting was your classic monster movie. It was about a spider from space that started growing way too big and becoming a threat to not only flies, but now humans and other animals. I recommend it if you like monster movies. Now, Arcadian was not rated, so I assume it's a somewhat independent film, even though it did have Nicolas Cage in it. Um, I was looking forward to it because I do like horror movies. I like monster movies. It was about a post-apocalyptic world, and these monsters had probably cropped up because of the pollution we caused during war. Um, the problem was it was full of tons of shaky camera work and zooms and certain sounds along with these zooms as the monsters would make these weird noises. And of course it was meant to make you feel uncomfortable, but it went to the point of making me physically sick.